There are no long truck jams in Dover, but complaints from exporters in Great Britain are getting louder every day. Only now are many people realizing what Brexit means. Freight forwarders, retailers and fishermen complain about the bureaucracy. There is no question British Prime Minister Boris Johnson insisted again and again that no controls between Northern Ireland and Great Britain would be necessary for goods after Brexit. Northern Ireland Minister Brendan Lewis also claimed on New Year's Day that there was no Irish maritime border. The reality is different after the transition period expired on December 31st and Great Britain's exit from the EU was also completed economically. What Brexit really means is becoming more tangible for citizens every day. In Northern Ireland, as in other parts of the country, such as London, shelves otherwise filled with fresh food remained empty in some supermarkets. Salad, cauliflower, oranges, strawberries, raspberries and blueberries, for example, were missing in some branches of the supermarket chain Tesco. The online delivery service Ocado ran out of broccoli, carrots and cauliflower. In addition to transport difficulties due to the corona pandemic, numerous companies seem surprised by the requirements and the necessary formalities that have been enforced since January 1st. It was not until Christmas Eve that London and Brussels agreed on a trade deal at the last minute and the massive change is anything but smooth. For example, exporters in Great Britain need additional papers in order to be able to ship their food to Northern Ireland. According to the withdrawal agreement, the northern part of the country continues to act within the common European internal market, while the rest of the kingdom is no longer a member of the customs union and the internal market. For example, a fully loaded truck can be stopped at the port of Belfast if the correct customs declaration has not been completed for even one product in the load. Accordingly, the inspectors have rejected numerous trucks in the past few days because they did not have the correct papers with them. The same thing happened at the port of Dover, where about every fifth truck had to turn back, as the Transport Association RHA stated. The frustration among freight forwarders and retailers is already deep a few days after the turn of the year, although the expected chaos at the ports has not yet materialized. Because of the holiday break and the preparations made by many companies, a number of companies had stocked up in advance to avoid bottlenecks. There was significantly less traffic. Only around 2,000 trucks crossed the English Channel to and from France every day. Problems would worsen if this week the main trade route in southwest England climbs back to the usual six or 7,000 trucks a day, the RHA said. The chaos has begun, said freight expert John Shirley. Organizing even the simplest, simplest cargo to Europe has become an almost impossible task due to the mountain of red tape that was introduced on January 1st. Michael Gove, Minister of State responsible for Brexit preparation, also warned, the situation will get worse before it gets better. The words of the prominent Eurosceptic sound significantly different from the rosy promises made by the Conservative government in recent years. Prime Minister Boris Johnson is still trying to ignore criticism from the business world. How long will he be able to do that? The cracks caused by Brexit are becoming clearer every day. Resistance is even among the fishermen. The majority were in favor of leaving the community of states, hoping for new markets and opportunities. Now there's disillusionment. It's a disaster, said a Scottish exporter. Delayed customs clearance and IT problems in France, suddenly fresh lobsters and crabs are stuck on the way to the continent. Everything we shipped this week is lost, said the head of Scottish seafood exporter Lock Fine Sea Farms, Jamie McMillan, in a video he shared on Twitter a few days ago. We can no longer export to the EU until the problems are resolved. The question remains when this will be the case. And if you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel and my other channels. I'll see you in my next video. Auf Wiedersehen.